out there in the morning when they're, when they're starting out. Today's Wednesday. And day seven, is that right, Lynn? That's right. I can't even remember what the date is. It's either the 25th or the 26th, but it's Wednesday. We now have uh, about 2,120 miles on the odometer. Moving along, we are outside of Livingston, Montana. Just went by the uh, exit for Yellowstone National Park. Wish we could go, but don't have time. So yesterday, we went to, we made a brief stop in Sandpoint, Idaho, just to show Linda, because it's a really pretty town. And then we went to Hope, Idaho. So it was our first visit in a place called Hope where people knew that's what the name of it was because we remember on Fox Island it, they didn't even know it. But Hope, Idaho, the sign says population of 200. What I read was 98. But I think what they did was they combined East Hope and maybe even what's known as Beyond Hope, if you believe it or not, because there's a community RV park there. So uh, that's pretty funny. We've got pictures of the Beyond Hope sign like that. So gorgeous scenery in Idaho and Montana yesterday. One of the things in uh, Montana, I was I was bummed because I failed to stop at the uh, sign for the Continental Divide outside of Butte, Montana, or in Butte at 6,393 feet. But I quickly realized next month when I'm doing my west westward journey, I'm going to cross the Continental Divide, so I'll get a picture of that. And outside of Butte, and if you don't know anything about Butte, it is a old, it was one of the biggest copper mining areas in the United States quite a while ago, and they built a statue that's 90 feet tall on the top of the mountains along the ridge that the Continental Divide goes through, and uh, it was Lady in the Skies, Lady in the no. Skies? <clears throat> Excuse me, Lady of the Rockies. Lady of the Rockies, sorry. Lady of the Rockies. And and the mine didn't build it. It was built by a group of people in um, 1979. Yeah, I, I actually thought it was something from long ago when the, all the immigrants were there that were uh, used in the mine, working in the, in the deep pit mine. Uh, today, we're on our way... Oh, I forgot to tell you about the, what happened at Hope yesterday. So we met three nice people at the post office figured that would be the place to go, and asked them, what does it mean to them to live in a town named Hope? And the first response we got was from a lady that said, Hope is heaven on earth to her. And I thought, that's a pretty darn good answer. And uh, one of the gentlemen said, it just, Hope meant relaxing. And that was somebody that actually had moved from Minnesota to Hope uh, Idaho. Then they said, once they understood what our trip was all about, and we gave them some swag, uh, they said, you should go down to the community center. It's open today, and once they hear your story, they'll love it. So we were excited to go down to the community center to do that. So we got there, and I opened the door, go barging in, and there was a meditation class going on, and I I messed up all the vibe for everybody in the meditation. So I quickly made an exit and hightailed it out of hope. After that, we drove down through Idaho into Montana on Route 200. Very pretty, all the way down to Livingston, where we just left. And we we got into some really heavy rain, saw some beautiful mountains, a lot of snow. I think it was the Grand Tetons, actually, at one point. And this morning, it was supposed to be raining, and I, I can see that up ahead, we're definitely going to get into it. As you can see in the camera, it's, uh, it's really pretty. Really pretty. So now, we're on our way to Billings to meet with a patient and an advocate and actually a staff member for CCF, Melinda Bikini. Melinda's going to join us in Billings and we're going to do a ride along to Heisham, 
Montana to meet with Chris Darby Mullen. And we're looking forward to that because we're going to have, I think, a, a lunch in, in Hysham. And not that many people can say they've been to Hysham, Montana. So I'm looking forward to that. That's it for now. Have a great day and give a little whistle. <laughs>